No, I just was pointed out to me, thank you. It was just pointed out to me by my trusty friend Andy here that I was so busy doing my crazy leprechaun impression that I forgot to mention that the star of yes. the NBC miniseries, Randy Quaid, is here. What am I thinking? I, but you know what? If, I hope they stopped him before he got to the elevator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, if, if people are supposed to just know the name of that series, uh -huh. then they should also just know that Randy Quaid is the star. Exactly. I think. Tonight, the guy from that thing. Yeah. Watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that should be how this show works yeah, from yeah. now on. Yeah. Just sort of abbreviate things. Yeah, we've got uh, her. And then uh, <laughs> that guy. guy. Yeah. yeah. The guy's and here. And him. And him. Yeah. And he's great out. at that thing he does. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling? Very, oh, well, I got a little cold, but I'll be all right. Man, when that head of yours fills up with phlegm, it's mm, something. Tell me about it. Yeah. I actually have to change the sensitivity on the mics or else you can hear it. It's like oatmeal sloshing around a bucket. Yeah. What? It is. Yeah. Sorry. You seem to get sick a lot. And, and I, I know. You I just know. do. I mean, I... I, I lately, and yeah... I don't get sick that often, and I'm always like, every other week, you, you're coming down with something or getting over something. Yeah, I don't know what it is. That's the booze, I think. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say the crack, but... <laughs> yeah. 50-50 chance, it's you know? The it's, the, you, yeah. it's the way you combine the them. subtle combo. I don't Jack know. Jack Daniels, let's throw a little crack in there. I don't know what it is. There you go. Yeah. Could I have a Pop-Tart with uh -huh. that? <laughs> Get a nice sugar high. Yep. Uh, what, what are we doing on time here tonight? Get into it? Man, everyone tonight is telling me to... Guy get in the audience it. is like, next! <laughs> this guy's like, get into it. That wasn't even the producer. That was just another random right, right. person in the audience. <laughs> Moving along, freckles. Let's go. <laughs> That's the way the show has developed now. Yeah. People at any point can just be like, come on, let's go. Uh, we do, let's talk about something important, something about television this mm. evening. The most, uh, the biggest of all medium, television. Yes. Uh, the most important art form, better than books, TV. Uh, <laughs> it's November right now. Yep. It's actually uh, November 5th, which uh, in the television business means it's time for November sweeps. And for anyone who doesn't know, sweeps is when the networks fight it out. All the networks uh, compete with each other for, for the highest ratings by putting on their very hottest programming. Right. Hence... Leprechauns. So, uh... <laughs> well, anyway, here to, uh... You know, this is pretty big. They're all fighting it out. So here tonight to guide us through the sweeps battlefield is our old friend at the network, Polly, the NBC Peacock. <laughs> all right there. Hey there, Polly. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Polly. Hey, Polly. Yeah, it's great. We spend a lot of money doing sweeps on special effects. Uh, Polly, <laughs> let's get right into it, shall we? Tell us about the exciting programming that NBC has lined up for, for sweeps. What's going on? It's must-see, must-see, must-see TV! And you better make sure you only watch NBC, because watching the other networks gives you polio. <laughs> Wait a minute. Polio? That... No, that's not true. You don't get polio watching the other networks. Rock! <laughs> Good comeback. Now, come on. <laughs> Polly, even you have to be concerned about the competition. Like, for example, Regis Philbin's big hit, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I mean, that thing's huge. ABC is going to run it for 15 straight nights during sweeps. Ratings are going to be through the roof. That million dollars, it comes at a price. If you win, you have to give Regis a sponge bath. <laughs> got crazy old man hair coming out of every orifice. <laughs> big, big tuft at the base of his spine. Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, right, Polly, why don't you just, you're bumming people out. Why don't you just tell us about some of the big programming that NBC has coming up? <laughs> leprechauns, leprechauns, Yeah, yeah, leprechauns. Well, we, we discussed <laughs> leprechauns, yeah. It's the magical legend of the leprechauns. It's NBC's big uh, miniseries. And uh, I just don't know, Polly, I mean... You know, I, I've seen the ads for it. I think a lot of us have, and it does look a little silly. You're wrong! Everyone who watches gets a pot of gold! Polly. And a truckload of Guinness! Polly. <laughs> no, it's not true. It's not true. And here's the kicker! Everybody who watches gets oral sex from that Lord of the Dance guy! That is
is not true. No, now, Polly, though tempting, that it's just not true. Now, what about that big miniseries on CBS? I hate to talk about the competition, but Aftershock, Earthquake in New York, I mean, it's supposed to be great. I hear it's amazing. It bites! It bites big! The special effects suck! Take a look at this clip! Hey, a chili dog? Thanks a lot. <laughs> I get another chili dog? This time, hold the earthquake. <laughs> wasn't so good. No, it wasn't. Well, uh, Polly, let's talk about the mornings then. Now, NBC has always been dominant in that area. You know, they've done really well. But CBS just debuted their new early show with Bryant Gumbel. And I got to say, it's going to be get big, big, big competition for the Today Show. Competition, schmoppetition. <laughs> Bryant Gumbel became a pervert when he left NBC. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, Polly? It's true. Take a look. From buying insurance to reading a garment label, we'll show you a book with all kinds of <laughs> Hard to just, you can't dispute solid proof like that, you know? You know, what I'm interested in is uh, that CBS miniseries Shake, Rattle, and Roll. I mean, it's all about one of my favorite subjects, the early days of rock and roll. And it, it, it looks amazing, it sounds great. Uh uh, rock! The musical recreations aren't that good. Check out their little Richard. A wop wop a doo wop a wham bam boom guy girl. She knows just what to do. Guy girl and so she just knows what to do. It's boost the geese and it moves to us and she's the girl that I love best. Tutti fruity, all rooty, tutti fruity, all rooty. A wop wop a doo wop a wop bam boom. <laughs> I, I thought that rocked, but uh, it's just me. You know, I'm also looking forward to ABC's new version of Annie. I mean, I, as a kid, I loved that musical. I think Annie, that's great. Little Orphan Annie! Little Orphan Annie! Rock! Wait a minute, Polly, it's on another network. You're excited about this one? No way, Jose! It's horrible! In this version, they show how Annie became an orphan. Take a look. <laughs> Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, CBS has a movie called Happily Ever After. It's, uh, it's called One Special Night. It stars Julie Andrews and James Garner as a couple who get snowbound in a remote cabin and end up falling in love. And I got to say, that sounds really cool. Blech. What's the matter, Polly? Is it, is, it too, is it too sweet for you? No! It's Julie Andrews and James Garner. They've gotten old. And their love scenes ain't pretty. Take a look. I do, uh, I do got to tell you, though, Polly, I, I am a little bummed, because yesterday I missed possibly the coolest show of this whole sweeps period. I'm really upset that I missed it. I'm talking about Fox's When Stars Attack, the nasty behavior Hollywood never wanted you to see. That's supposed to have been a great, great show. Rock! You didn't miss much. Polly, what are you talking about? That was a great show that they had exclusive footage of Jim Carrey, Brad Pitt, Shannon Doherty, all losing their tempers. I mean, that sounds like an awesome, awesome show. Rock! I don't know. The footage was pretty lame. Just look at Shannon Doherty. Uh, excuse me. Do you know if this is hot water or coffee? Oh, I think it's coffee. Oh, thanks. 
Oh, hot water. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, <it's okay. laughs> Bitch! Well, she was wrong. Man, I still wish I had seen that show. Thanks a lot, Polly. Bye! Good oh, yeah. You're supposed to say I'll NBC you. I'll NBC you! All right, you're tired. We'll take a break, Bye. folks. When we come back, Heather Locklear going to be joining us today.